<laughs> we got Miss Betty Crocker making a seven layer bean dip in the van for the family reunion. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's it's looking not bad. good. We forgot bowls, so I improvised and used the um, crock pot. Oh, yeah. right. It's true. It's good, not bad. Good job, honey. You're doing amazing. What's up everybody? Uh, it's been quite a few days since I've recorded. Today and yesterday what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, started the kitchen counters. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you exactly what I've done. So here as you can see, I have my shell of my counter and I have the counter top, which is live edge wood. I already have the top of it stained. Um, just made a basic shell right now and I'm just kind of designing and building because uh, I don't have much experience in this realm. I never did uh, cabin tree school, I did carpentry, but that was 25, 30 years ago. Anyway, so I'm just kind of doing the best that I can come up with here. So that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm getting ready to build out that section right here. And then I'm going to come up with shelving ideas and go get some more uh, plywood to build the actual drawers. Hey guys, um, so I'm apologizing in advance because I have just not really had the time or honestly the energy to do a lot of detailed filming. Uh, I'll show you as much as I can kind of what I've done and less of how to do it. Um, there's plenty of build series out there. I don't need to be another fish in the sea teaching you how to do something that I'm not even an expert on. So definitely don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll just show you what I'm doing and you can maybe take some tips and hints from it or some ideas if you will uh, but I'm not at all an expert especially when it comes to cabinetry making I did go to school for carpentry but that was 30 years ago and I've never put it to use so I'm just kind of taking my basic skills and, and applying them um, but uh, I will turn the camera around and show you what I am doing so far so as you can see, I do have the skeleton of my cabinetry built for the kitchen counter. I've gone ahead and taken um, quarter inch uh, ply just as a face plate and cut them all out. I did make one little mistake here and accidentally cut all the way through by accident, but overall I did a pretty good job. I did get a new tool, which you can see out there is my circular saw uh, tracking system so that I can cut nice and straight lines and I actually use that to cut out my face plate as well um, by simply lining up the track and dropping it in in the middle of my lines and then going all the way to the edge and then finishing off the little edges with a jigsaw so I did that that way I have a nice face plate to go on top of the skeleton I will take this back out before I attach it, sand it down a little bit more because as you can see it kind of chipped up right here which I was not too happy with because everywhere else it looked fine but here it chipped for some reason and I'm not sure why but it could just be because it's cheap plywood, who knows. So I'll sand that down as much as I can, it's all going to get painted anyway um, and I've made a shelf over here as you can see and that will be accessed from outside and there will be a cabinet door on that. This will have two cabinet doors and then um, I basically measured a home kitchen counter because it's the same height and everything. So this is my silverware drawer and then this drawer gets a little bit bigger. This drawer gets a little bit bigger than that drawer. And finally, an even larger drill, uh, even larger drawer down there. Um, I haven't completely decided if I'm going to put drawers in this one or not. Uh, and that is because I have just decided to scrap the... Um, camping stove idea where I would put it away each night and only get it out when I need to use it and instead I've ordered a permanent countertop stove and I'm debating on whether or not to put my gas tank underneath here or behind um, I should say in the back underneath the bed either way before I get any kind of complaints or comments I will be building a, a vented locker that will most likely vent out the bottom 
through the floor, although I'm not too keen on drilling holes into my van. But everyone else does it. I just don't like to have to create more work for myself. But if it means being safe and not blowing up, then I think I'll go with that option. That's what I have done so far. And I know a lot of people make this all out of plywood, but uh, I'm trying to go as light as possible and as cost effective as possible, AKA cheap, while not being too cheap. So here you can see I have the cabinet doors done and I have applied one coat of linseed oil to them. As well as over here, I have the drawers done and there are two coats of linseed oil on them. I also went ahead and applied linseed oil to my face plates and I opted not to paint them after all. And then in here, I have the countertop already started with the first coat of epoxy. I didn't show you how I did it and all that stuff because if you really want to know, just go on YouTube like I did. Um, it was definitely a little trickier and I definitely made too much. So for a small countertop like this, I started with, yeah, two pints total. One pint of the epoxy and one pint of the hardener for a total of two pints and I have a whole pint left over that is now going to harden. And by the way, this stuff gets really hot. Like after about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, like that stuff is hot. And now it's been, it's actually finally starting to cool off a little bit. But yeah, for a good hour there, it was, it was nice and hot. I'm going to say probably around 110, 120 degrees. Um, so just touching it because it was on my gloves and it was starting to heat up pretty quick. I was like, whoa, I had to take my gloves off pretty quick. So anyway, that's the update. I'm going to come back and in about two hours and pour my flood coat on it. Make sure that there's no bubbles and we'll see how it looks after that. Here you can see the final product of my epoxied countertop live edge counter and the cutouts for where the stove and the sink and the garbage will go. Here's the counter installed with running water and down below you'll see how I have the drain going out from the gray water tank. That is of course for when I pull up the campground and I like to empty it all out. And of course, here's me looking happy with the final product. So, a bit of an update. Um, I have moved into the van as of yesterday. I got all my stuff out of the house. Uh, sorry I didn't show you any of that video. I didn't take any of the video. I was just worried about getting everything out. There was a bunch of family drama going on. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of details, but it involved, you know, divorce with my mom and stepdad and uh, drama from, you know, just family dynamics and stuff, you know how that goes. So, um, so I went ahead and moved in a little bit earlier than I wanted to. I don't have my cabinets up yet. I do have the kitchen sink done and I've made my breakfast shake today. Um, so I have the kitchen done, the cabinets are in. Um, I think I'm going to take a break from working on the van for a couple of days, but I do need to put in all of the uh, cabinet locks so that way they don't <laughs> do this stuff just kind of flying wherever they want. Um, I also need to put in the cabinet doors for up top there so nothing comes flying out of that. But the bedroom is done as well. Um, again, I need cabinets. Um, my table came in, so I have that mounted. I have a mount on the outside as well. Um, I do have my mattress in here. It was, I modified it yesterday and um, cut off about 10 inches off of my $4,000 mattress. <laughs> but um, I didn't have to do as, I didn't have to do the notches like I thought because it just kind of compressed, but I definitely had to take off the 10 inches so that it would fit. Um, so now it is 71 inches from side to side. And it's about a 12 inch thick mattress. So it's nice and comfortable, very comfortable. The temporary mattress pad that I had in here was, it was doable for a night or two, but after that, my back was stiff and sore. But now it's just like sleeping at home. And now this is my home. So just wanted to give you guys an update and I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna be publishing this. I've got so many other videos that I have not even worked on yet, but by the time you see this, you'll hopefully have seen everything else that I've done and put together in the right order. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna finish up my shake here and get my day started. Cheers. 
Okay, so I uh, did what everybody else does, uh, and I joined Planet Fitness, and wow, that was so easy. I signed up online, by the way, which if I think about it, I'm gonna leave a referral link. I don't know that I get anything for it, but I saw it somewhere that there was a referral link. Anyway, went in, had my shower, um, never really had to do this before, so I think I'm gonna head to Walmart and pick up like a little gym bag or something so that I can have all my bath stuff in it because I definitely wasn't prepared for what I should have because I'm used to having all the luxuries of home. Everything was just right there on the on the shower rack. But anyway, um, and then because I went with the black membership, I can use any gym anywhere. That is a plant fitness, of course. And you get free use of their hydro massage chairs, their massage chairs, their tanning booth, and something called a red laser booth that's supposed to be good for your skin. I don't know, I haven't tried that out yet, but wow, that massage was great. <laughs> I'm already, I mean, maybe it's just, you know, like first day positive vibes, but that was great. So now I'm gonna go to the store and get some stuff for the next time I shower, I think, I know this is gonna sound gross, but I didn't have any shower shoes. And I feel like I should probably use some shower shoes. So I'm gonna go get some of those, get one of those soap boxes that I can put my soap in, get some uh, little travel size bottles so that I can put my shampoo in. So yeah, excellent stuff here. So unfortunately that was all of the build shots that we have and I wish I had more, but that's okay. So here's some cool photos of the countertop all finished. Here's me posing in front of it because I was so happy, but I also regret that picture and I'll tell you why in a minute. Here is with the cabinets up and installed. Here's how I did the cabinets with the lattice in the background and I painted them and installed the doors. They were a little tricky because of the angles. I had to notch out that board there in the back that you see that's white. I also did the entryway with a black framed in board and I redid my top of my shelf as I enter so that way I could open it up and store some things in there like remotes and controllers and whatnot. Here is the cabinets all fully installed and here's another shot from the bed with the fan that I have. It's a little battery fan. Here's a little close up shot of that and here is another shot with the tapestry on the door and the bulkhead done as well. Thanks for my friend for helping me uh, with a place to build. And this is why I regret that picture because that day I got tons of sunburn. So helpful tip, even when your friends tell you you need to get some sun, put some sunblock on. Enjoy this nice, beautiful sunset that I took with my new drone. Lots of more travel videos coming up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this build series. Be sure to like and follow and subscribe.